Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this series of videos, what we planned is let's talk about some unique concept in mathematics. And the first and the amazing concept which we are going to discuss in this lecture is it's about Ramanujan's paradox. What was the Ramanujan's paradox? It says if you sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 up till so on to infinity, this is going to give you minus 1 upon 12. So so this will create a lot of confusion in your mind, right? So let's discuss what was the idea behind this Ramanujan's paradox and how did he prove it? But before we proceed, let us first try to understand what is the mathematical meaning of a paradox. So bacho, let's understand what is a mathematical paradox. So a mathematical paradox is a mathematical conclusion so unexpected, mind it. So this is a mathematical conclusion so unexpected that it is difficult to accept. So you will not accept the same way as I have, you know, said you that 1 plus 2 plus 3 and up till so on to infinity is going to give you something negative. So this is a mathematical conclusion so unexpected that it is difficult to accept even though every step in the reasoning is valid. So each and every step which we will discuss in today's lecture you will feel it yes the all the steps which we have discussed they are valid but still you will say no this result is something you know you are not going it is very difficult for you to digest it right so the conclusion is certainly unexpected but let's discuss what was the ramanujan's paradox and how did he proved it but before we you know jump into this concept we all know that this is one plus two plus three plus 4 plus 5 up till so on to infinity this is a very interesting series all of us know this is nothing but an ap right and we have already learned that the sum of ap if it is the sum of first n natural numbers it is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 and what we were taught in the schooling days that if n were to tend to infinity summation will also tend to infinity right that is what we were taught that if n is tending to infinity and if i denote this series with s so you will say that s also tends to infinity right that is what we are told but certainly this is wrong yes mathematicians are saying no so is there any hidden mystery behind this yes there is some hidden mystery behind this let's together understand what is the mystery behind this so again consider this series 1 plus 2 plus 3 up till so on to infinity so if answer is not infinity students which may be by some invisible hand at least the sum should be positive yes that is if you are adding up 1 plus 2 these all are the positive terms so the answer should be a positive term that is something which all of us should you know get an intuition yes these are the positive terms and if you will add up these positive terms you will end up getting a positive number so all the terms are positive right but again the answer is no again the answer is no so we have a double nose so the first no was from here and the second no is from here so there are two no's in this scenario so students ramanujan is considered as one of the greatest mathematician of all the time the sheer genius of ramanujan in number theory always fascinated me right the great man often ignored proof of many derivations it's like this a genius person always look at the problem the path always looks so obvious to the you know genius man he will skip all the steps and he will you know come to the conclusion part he will ignore all the steps which are involved in the proof but the mathematicians are still pondering on the left conjectures these are the left conjectures on which many math mathematicians are working so yes ramanujan also did interesting mathematics in the field of uh, this is infinite summation and the next statement or the statement which we are going to discuss it is going to again you know shock you so ramanujan's method of summation of number points to the fact that the sum of this series that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up till so on to infinity is nothing but minus 1 upon 12 and students we are going to prove this now right now let's prove this you know summation is equals to minus 1 by 12 but before we prove this series we have to consider again two infinite series and find out their sums which will be required in proving this series sum that is s is equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 up till so on to infinity right so we will consider two series so consider two series and what are the series and let's try to find out their sum let's try to find out their sum so the first series is capital a which is given as 
1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 up till so on to infinity right and again consider the next series that is capital B that is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 up till so on to infinity so we have considered these two series and my task is to find the sum of these series now right so from the series A just observe this very carefully A is nothing but 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 up till so on to infinity now what I am doing is what I am doing is I will leave this one as it is and I will take minus common from all other terms and what you will get you will get this will become 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 up till so on to infinity and my dear students now you can relate that this is capital A this is nothing but capital A 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 so can I write that capital A is nothing but so capital A is nothing but 1 minus A yes or no so this implies twice of a is equals to 1 so the sum of this series comes out to be equal to 1 upon 2 so you have to understand this fact that the sum of these series that is 1 minus 1 plus 1 up till so on to infinity the sum comes out to be equal to 1 upon 2 so that was the sum for a now in order to find the sum of this series that is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 and so on to infinity what i'll be doing is i will use a fact that so what my task will be i will just subtract a from b right so what i'll do is i'll you know do this subtraction a minus b what was my a series this was 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 up till so on to infinity and what is the b series so that is the alternating 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 up till so on to infinity yes or no and now just club the terms term by term so first term club with first term so 1 minus 1 right the next one plus what is the second term that is minus 1 and minus minus plus 2 right the third one that is 1 again in between we have this minus and the third term from here is 3 right so 1 minus 3 so up till so on to infinity and now easily you can understand the pattern from here so this will be 0 plus 1 minus 2 again the next term will be plus 3 minus 4 up till so on to infinity and if I rewrite these terms, that is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 up till so on to infinity. What is this, students? This is nothing but the series B. Right or wrong? So A minus B comes out to be equal to B. From here, can I say that twice of B is equals to A? And what is the value of A? We have already calculated that A was nothing but 1 by 2. And you have to divide this again with this 2. So the sum of the series of B comes out to be equal to 1 divided by 2. Now we are very close to the you know proof of the result that is the sum of this series that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up till so on to infinity is nothing but minus 1 by 12 until now you will realize that each and every step which I have done in this proof is not at all wrong whatsoever we have done there is a logic behind it right and now in order to prove this sum what I will be doing is you just compute this value b minus s what it will come out to be. What is the series B? All of us know 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 up till so on to infinity and subtract S. What is S? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up till so on to infinity, right? And now again use the same fact that first term clubbed with first term. So this will be 1 minus 1. In between plus, what is the second term? Minus 2 minus of minus 2, right? Again the third one plus 3 minus 3. Next plus minus 4 minus 4 right again plus my 5 minus 5 and the next one will be minus 6 right again with minus 6 up till so on to infinity from here now you are eligible to you know observe the pattern so this will be 0 minus 4 plus 0 minus 8 plus 0 minus 12 up till so on to infinity and if you take out the minus 4 to be common so what it will be minus 4 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up till so on to infinity and what is this series 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up till so on to infinity this is nothing but my series capital s right and what where do we start it from we started from b minus s students so b minus s is equals to that is minus 4 times s so can i say from here that is b is nothing but minus 3s and what we are interested we are interested in calculating the value of capital s 
So capital S is nothing but minus 1 by 3 times B and we have already calculated the value of B that is 1 upon 4. So this comes out to be equal to minus 1 by 12. So what we proved that the sum that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up till so on to infinity comes out to be equal to minus 1 by 12 and this is nothing but the Ramanujan paradox. It is one of the most interesting and one of the most applicable paradox which is again used in higher mathematics to prove so many uh, concepts so i hope you have understood this ramanujan paradox and of course it is going to create a lot of curiosity in your mind that how the things have been proved and again before i conclude this lecture let's again read out the definition of a paradox so a mathematical paradox is a mathematical conclusion so unexpected that it is difficult to accept even though every step is in the reasoning is valid so what that is what we have felt throughout this lecture also so a great tribute to the greatest mathematician of all the time that is Srinivas Ramanujan and and hence we conclude today's class thank you so much viewers for watching our video for more such videos do subscribe to our youtube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you so much